What is going on guys? Today I'm showing you guys how to install Luxar Vehicle Control. This is a plugin that essentially gives you the ability to toggle on um, police car lights, sirens, and stuff like that. It also has some cool features, um, but that's what we're going to be showing you guys in today's video. And all this script really does is if you hit Q, you'll have a little UI there which you're able to toggle on and off. I'll show that towards the end of the video what kind of configurations you guys can do. Um, and then you can also toggle on your sirens like so. And like I said, it has some cool features um, that no other script has. If you go ahead and hop out the car, it will cut the sirens off. Um, so that's a cool trick I found. Um, but let's get right into the video. All right, guys, if you guys go ahead and click the link in the description. It is going to pull up this page. And all we need to do is click this blue button. And it's going to take us to a different page. We're going to scroll down. We're going to download this source code.zip. Just click it. It's going to go down to your downloads. And make sure you have RINRAR or 7-zip. I prefer RINRAR because um, that's what this is packaged in. Actually, is it a dot .zip? It's a dot .zip. But RINRAR or, dot, or 7-zip works. You pick your poison. More than likely, most of you guys already have this downloaded. But once you've downloaded, you can unpackage this file. All we need to do now is go to our server while keeping this window open. Open our resources. So find your resource folder in your server. Have this open. And we're going to simply drag this entire folder into our resources it's going to come here we're going to rename this lvc all lowercase and we're going to come back over here to this file and we're going to grab our dependency and we're going to drag our rage ui into the resource folder as well as you can see i already have it in here i'm just going to click replace so now we have a or we have our rage ui and we have our lvc in there now we need to open up our LVC, go to our settings. Um, you're going to need uh, Visual Studio or something like that to actually open up this code. I prefer Visual Studio. And at the top, you're going to see up here, there is a community ID. Um, you can make it whatever you want. It just has to be there um, because if you don't have it in there, it's going to throw a configuration error. So just put something in there. Um, I'll put a poop, you know, poop. Why not? Um, that should work. As long as it is four to six characters, we're good. Um, and this is where you can change your menu key. So like I said, it's uh, O. That's not a zero, it's an O. Um, you can change it anything you want, but I just leave it. Um, and then you can go through here and there's a bunch of settings in here that it, you know, it's literally um, described on which uh, each of the features uh, does. Um, so check that out. I wouldn't mess with anything in here um, unless you're going to change some hotkeys. But besides that, just leave it. Um, we can close this out uh, make sure we save this Mine automatically saves so last thing we need to do is go to our server cfg and start our lvc so start lvc and start our rage ui uh, make sure when you're starting something that it is identical to the folder name so any words or, or letters that are capitalized it needs to be capitalized um, identical if it's even one word off it's uh, not going to work so as you can see rage ui the r is capitalized and so is the ui that's important if they're lowercase it's not going to start um, once you get that done we can go ahead and start up our server so whichever way you do that if it's a local host you kind of just do what i do if it's a box ran server you're going to click the start button and what you want to do when you're watching the server box come up is make sure that you see lvc um, has started um, as you can see my server being a little slow but if we let it load, you'll see our ULC, which we're not covering today. And if we go ahead and scroll up, it lets us. You can see our LVC has loaded. Um, you can see that we have some installed plugins that we're missing. Um, as you can see, I think it's just a bug because it says um, installed is the same version as required. You see installed is the same as latest. So just kind of ignore that. Um, but as long as this popped up and there's no errors, which we can see there's no errors, it's just um, updates that we need to update, which again, they're clearly the right ones. Um, we're good. If you see any errors, you probably didn't add the community ID um, or you did not enable Rage UI. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and load in game and let's go uh, go in game and see how it works and what configurations you guys can do with it. I'm gonna show you guys some cool tricks uh, and stuff you guys can do with this menu. Um, so as you guys can already set the bat, when I uh, slow down and it car comes to a stop, it kicks on the brake lights for the car instead of you having to hold them. Um, and this is literally purely intended for 
police car set up with brake lights like in the light bars and stuff like that um, and as you can see on my models I do that so you can see that is um, actually working correctly and looks really nice um, so it's good for photos and etc um, but also we have our Q which turns our lights on we got our left alt which kicks the sirens on and then we can press R and it will change the uh, tone of the siren and then you can also hit E and it will play the horn so pretty cool stuff and like I said before if you hop out it will cut the siren off and the way to enable that is going to be opening the menu that it has um, that we went over in the config if we press um, not zero but O you'll see this menu pop up and you can adjust everything here you can press enter to go in and then backspace to leave it um, but you can change some stuff in there I'm not really sure what that does um, but I know you can mess down here, and that's where the siren park kill is. You can see it says toggles whether your sirens turn off automatically when you exit your vehicle, which is what that does. Um, I like that feature a lot. You can also go here and adjust your HUD, so you can turn the lights on if you want. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can move it. Um, you can turn it off if you don't want it there. You've also got audio settings, so if I press Q, you can hear the beep. If I change this, it sounds different you guys can hear all the beeps are different um and there's a lot of cool stuff in there i recommend you guys go check it out and read up on the form and the link in the description um because obviously the person made this has more information on it than i do but as of now you guys have it installed and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and leave a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed the video peace out